and today we are at Washburn High School. This is Katie Taylor. She is a speech and language pathologist here. Washburn is in South Minneapolis, and this is the Upstream Arts site, which is funded through the School Arts Fund. Katie, why don't you tell us a little bit about this program and the impact it's had on the students you work with? Um, I work with students in the DCD program, which stands for Developmental Cognitive Delay, and these students have both physical and um, cognitive and sometimes emotional um, difficulties or disorders um, that affect kind of their ability to participate in regular curriculum throughout the day. I also work with the um, students in the EBD program who um, have emotional and behavioral disorders which um, affect their ability to participate in the regular ed curriculum. Um, both are self-contained programs, so the students primarily stay within their classrooms um, during the day or within the classrooms within their program during the day. Sometimes um, they are mainstreamed for a class or two, um, but not typically. So, um, And I've been able to watch upstream arts um, with, with these yeah. um, in both in both and both on separate occasions and both together um, within within the oh my god sorry okay um, within this oh. semester so I what I've seen upstream arts been able to do is they've had a wonderful impact on both both of my students or all of my students in both programs um, and allowing them a safe place to express their ideas their feelings um, and just kind of practice some of the skills that we talk about and they've learned about, but it kind of allow them to practice those skills with their peers as well as um, the, the, the teachers and the participants, the actors and, um, from Upstream Arts, which has been really cool. They, um, they target kind of difficult situations in fun ways and they allow the kids to, you know, use their ideas of trying out superpowers to stop the bully in the hallway and you know what, that really doesn't work and kind of <laughs> where to go like that. So uh, it's great. And again, here's an example of how monies given through workplace giving are changing lives of students in Minneapolis. United Arts Fund. You need the arts. The arts need you.